Hey guys, it's Swanski here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and I'm at Chango Dock, which is where I seem to start every single Elite video that I do, <laughs> and I'm finally going to get into the Cobra Mark III, which I've been working towards for a little while now, so that should be good. You might have noticed I'm back in the hauler. I uh, sold the Viper not long after ending my last video, actually. <laughs> I, I kind of tried the uh, piracy thing, and I don't know, it didn't quite work too well for me, but... That's probably because I'm a scrub more than anything else. Uh, so there we go, Cobra Mark III bought. Hopefully the game doesn't crash or anything. I'm actually in uh, Beta 1.04, which came out a couple days ago, I think, and that introduced a few bug fixes. Um, a couple of pretty big ones, one of which is that the insurance screen should always display now when you die. There was a bug where sometimes the insurance, dis uh, the insurance screen just would not come up, and so you'd lose basically everything. Uh, never occurred, never happened to me, but it happened to plenty of other people, so that one should be fixed now. And the other one is that it should be easier now to, um, ooh, fancy. It should be easier now to connect to more, more multiplayer players. My track I just screwed up a little bit there. So you should see more people in the area, basically, when you're flying around. Which does seem to be the case so far, so that's cool. Man, this thing is big. Check it out, how far away, how far around can I turn? My track layout doesn't actually like me moving too far away. It's freezing up a little bit. Let me try and reset that. That might be better. Cool. Yeah, fancy. So this is one of the first, uh, it's the first ship that I've seen that actually has more than just a single seat in the cockpit. That's awesome. Alright, well, let's have a look at what we can do with this thing. So I've actually done a little bit of research before starting this video, if you can believe it, I know, it's shocking. Uh, so it turns out this thing's got a massive jump range, at least compared to what I've been using previously. Something like, oh, nearly 10 light years when it's fully loaded. Oh, when it's, sorry, that's not wrong, that's not right. Nearly 10 light, 10 light years when it's not loaded at all, and about 7.5 when it's fully loaded, I think, which is cool. But the really awesome part, 36 cargo units, that's, I mean, basically, once you can get this, you don't need the hauler anymore, put it that way. It can jump further, it can carry more, it's got more weapons, it's better in pretty much every respect. So, yeah. Let's look at the outfitting. So we've got two class 4 hardpoints, two class 2s, and then a couple of utility mounts. There's There seems to be a few problems at the moment, actually let's not do that. There seems to be a few moment problems uh, equipping stuff at the moment. Let's try a C2 pulse laser. Alright, it's worked that time. So that's good. I encountered a few um, problems the other day with just with not being able to um, equip anything, basically. So that's awesome. Can I buy C4, like class 4 stuff here? I can. Jesus, 17 grand for a pulse laser. I might leave that. I'll put a class 2 in there if I can. Am I blind? No, there's the pulse laser there. Alright, so we've got four class 2 pulse lasers, that's pretty awesome. What can we do with utilities? Cargo scanner, I've heard mixed things about this. Um, basically, this is the same with the kill warrant scanner, actually. I've never tried using them myself, but um, what I've heard is that they basically take so long to scan that by the time you finish scanning, your target's already run away, basically. Because <laughs> I know what I do is that as soon as a player tries to start, start scanning me, I'm boosting out of there like, immediately. And I think... I'm far from the only person doing that. So I won't bother with those. Armor. None to buy here anyway by the looks of it. And I don't think I could afford it if there was. So let's ignore that. I could buy a docking computer. Um, maybe not right now. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I've got to set up my fire groups. Yes, yes. Let me quickly do that. Fire groups. That's nice and easy. I really like that. Alright, so, what are we going to do? I'm thinking I'm actually going to do a trade run, but maybe, like, I'll stop by a, uh, a jump point or something as well. Let's see how that goes. So I've already planned out the trade run that I'm going to do, because I'm all prepared and fancy this time. So let's buy as much fish as I can. I wonder if there's a faster way of uh, doing that than just clicking the mouse over and over. Alright, a full cargo bay of fish. That is going to stink. Alright, we're back. My game just crashed there. Uh, that's what happens in beta sometimes. 
So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I think I was just about to leave on my trade run. So I filled up a cargo hold full of fish. Yep. And I'm just going to go to All In, which isn't really taking advantage of this thing's um, range, but it'll just be a nice short, uh, a nice short cargo run. And then on the way back, I might actually be able to stop by one of the nav points or something and do some shooting too. So we'll see how it goes. My first time flying this thing. Pretty sure it's a bit bigger than I'm used to, so of course I'm just going to go out the thing as fast as possible. Ah, that's all good. Awesome. <laughs> Alright. It's nice being in kind of a kind of fast ship again. So it's that basically 400 when boosting. Pretty good. Not as fast as the Viper, which was 500 when boosting, but still, 400 is nothing to complain about. Oh, track IR again. It's a bit touchy today. Yeah, so it's moving at a decent speed, and that's awesome. I mean, I was in the I was only using the hauler for um, only using the hauler for a few hours, but. It's so slow, the hauler. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, Lake on Type 6 is going to be like. Because that's the next ship after this one, really. I almost have enough money to buy one, actually. I think... I was about 30,000 credits away from a Lake on Type 6, so... Hopefully that video won't be too far away. I don't want to leave it too long because I believe that Beta 2 is coming out this month. I'm not sure when, I'm not sure if it's actually coming out or if that's just a rumour. But if that does come out then it's, I suppose it's possible that it will have a server wipe alongside it. Which would mean restarting from scratch basically. So I'd rather make the Lake on video before then, if possible. I don't think, if that does happen I don't think I'll get up to the Type 9. but. I mean, the lake on Type 6 is where you start making a lot of money from trading, so... You never know. Alright, so we are at All In Enterprise, so let's go in there and dock. And then, after docking, um, I'll probably launch out again and we'll find somewhere that I can shoot at something. That seems like a good idea. Given that I've got, I bought all these weapons, I might as well use them. It's interesting, the uh, sound effect for the booster is slightly different. I hadn't noticed that before. That's cool. I really like the sound effects in this game. It's one of the things that they really have got right, I think. I think I've managed to fly way, right past the entrance there. Alright, landing pad 43. Let's see how easy it is to park this thing. It does yaw really slowly. I mean, every ship in this game yaws slowly, but this is more so than I'm used to. Okay, 43 right down there. That took longer to slow down than I expected. Ah, uh, such a horrible parking job. There we go. I thought that would slow down faster than it did. <laughs> okay, let's sell off the fish, and we'll probably clean out our cargo hold as well. Because I don't fancy the smell back there. Somebody's just blown up. It seems it's actually the AI that blows up <laughs> more than anything else. Which, um, I mean, when I first started playing the game, I thought it was players just blowing up all over the place, but I think it's just the AI. Maybe that's another reason not to use the docking computer. You just end up blowing up. Alright, so we used hardly any fuel in that jump, which is interesting. 
Uh, let's check the bulletin board. I'll see if there's any jobs around here for blowing stuff up. Doesn't look like it. Alright. Let's just launch. And we'll find something with something interesting to do. And let's fly out of here at full speed again, because that always works so well and can never go wrong at all. That's a bit of tippery. <laughs> oh shit, the yaw is so slow. God, I couldn't go out there at full speed, I would have gone straight into the wall. Okay. I've still got my landing gear up. Such a noob. So bad. Alright, we'll just boost out of here. I could turn off flight assist, but there's really... Like, so that I could go faster. But there's really no need. A couple of boosts is all it takes. Alright, so I'll find a uh, beacon or whatever it is, or something, and I'll see you then. Alright, we're approaching the nav beacon. Hopefully I don't overshoot it. Looks like I'm going to. Because I somehow always manage to do that. Oh, I might slow it down enough in time. Wait, no, no, it's gone. Yeah. I guess I just have the throttle pushed it forwards a tiny bit too much. Doesn't matter. Only cost me a few seconds. All right. So we'll drop out any second now. Just got to get a little bit closer. There we go. And let's find something interesting to shoot at in here. Hopefully without getting shot at ourselves too much. Let's see, anything on the contacts? Only the nav beacon. So it seems that it takes a little bit for the uh, ships and stuff to load in sometimes. Speaking of loading in, Type 9 Heavy. I wonder if he's going to have a bounty on him. S scanning him. Let's see. No, he's clear. Uh, let's find something else. How about this Viper? Where is it even? It's all the way back here. So this guy's wanted. Let's say hello to him. With our lasers. If I can get them on target. There we go. Do a barrel roll. Man, he's so much faster than me. I put all power to the weapons. Odds are he's going to come back at, and try to do a pass at my face. And my lasers are already out of juice. He's not actually coming at me yet. He might be trying to um, charge up his jump drive, frame shift, whatever you want to call it. Once I get his shield down, it should be a bit easier. There we go. I just keep putting fire on him. I think he's out of range. There he is. I wouldn't be surprised if he jumps out, he's just a bit far away from me at the moment. Put up out of the engines, and we'll see if I can catch up. I'm trying to boost again, but I don't have enough charge built, and he's just getting away again. Uh, let's try this. Now I can maintain my top boosting speed, but I can barely control the ship. <laughs> and he's starting to loop around by the looks of it, so I probably want to turn this back off. I actually just can't catch up to him. His shields are almost back up too. Well that sucks. I would have expected him to have jumped out, to have, yeah, jumped out by now, to be honest. He's just leading me on a bit of a chase. Well, maybe I'll just find something else then. Because that kind of sucks, to be honest. 
What's this over here? Another navigation beacon. I guess if you travel far enough, it gives you a different nav beacon or something. It's a bit weird. Hmm. Alright, let's try and find some other ships then. Alright, this eagle is wanted. This should be a bit easier to kill than a viper. I think I can keep up with an eagle. <laughs> so let's go in after him. See if I can get my weapons on target. I don't want to shoot this other guy right in front of him. Because that probably wouldn't go well. So let's try this. There we go. I mean, remember I'm only using class 2 weapons as well. I mean, this thing can use class 4 weapons, I just didn't have the money to fully kit it up. So once you had it loaded out with full high-end weapons, it'll be taking these things out pretty fast, I would imagine. Assuming they don't take my shields out first, anyway. Hopefully that'll be something you'll be able to upgrade at one point in the future. I'd imagine that it would. You just do, like, better shields and that sort of thing. Man, this is taking a long time to turn around. Maybe if I had more power to the engines? I don't know. Where is he? There he is. Straight in at my face, as the AI in this game loves to do. Alright, let's try something a bit different. I'm actually going to go into reverse. Problem is, it takes so long to turn around. Alright, there we go, finally turned around. So it's giving him, that tactic's giving him a ton of free shots on me though, that's the problem. So now I'm going back into normal thrust. He's taken half damage. I haven't taken any, although my shield is badly depleted. Let me transfer power to my uh, weapons. Something else is scanning me, apparently. There we go. He's basically dead. Did he die or did he jump out? Did I get a bounty thing? I'm not sure if I actually got the kill there. It's a bit weird. I can't actually see my info tab. I think he jumped out. Bloody hell. Uh, let me try to build my shields up a bit. So it's it's interesting flying this thing in combat. I think I was um I think I was expecting it to be a bit more maneuverable than it is. What's scanning me? Uh, I think I was probably expecting it to fly a little bit like the a little bit like the Viper did, but it's it's a lot slower to maneuver than the Viper was. So we got another eagle here. Is this one wanted? No, this one's clean. See, so yeah, there's something you'll have to take into consideration. It's a... I guess it's a big heavy ship. It kind of wallows about a little bit. But at the same time, it's a... Uh, it's got all that cargo capacity. Which makes it perfect for a bit of... Like, basically doing a, the best of both worlds, I guess. You get the combat capability and you can also, you know, jump around and trade better than you can in a hauler. So that's pretty cool. So I think I'll leave this here, actually. Um, we've seen a bit of combat, we've seen a bit of trading. Like I was saying, this ship can do both really well. Uh, um, if you're 100% focused on trading, then it might be a better idea to just save up a bit longer and get the lake on Type 6. Because, I mean, that costs, what was it, 50, 60,000 credits more? Now, at, by the time I was buying this, I was making about 10 to 15,000 credits uh, with the hauler in a round trip. So, or like 5 to 10,000 with like just from station to station. So, I mean, you can start making decent money in the hauler. It takes money to make money, as they say. You need to be able to buy the expensive stuff, but you can make more profit on it. So, I don't know, if you're 100% trading and you have no interest in combat at all, 
it might be better to just stick in the, stick with the hauler for like an hour or so extra, grind out those extra credits, and then go straight into the type six. But otherwise, what are you doing, track IR? But otherwise, um, yeah, I think it's definitely worth taking a look at. And if you're into combat, then it's probably the best combat ship you can get, apart from the Anaconda, I guess. But the Anaconda is crazy expensive. Uh, I've never even flown one, so I don't actually know what it's like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, so I'll leave this here. So as always, I've been Vonska. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.